everybody. Welcome to She is a Cook with Tia Marie Arnold. Today on the menu is Air Crisp Catfish. Yes. And so stay tuned as we are going to do the Battles of the New Jersey. Today I'm going to use Lefty's Spices. It's a flour, seasoned flour for fish and chicken. It's like a mix. This is really good. I have used this before and it has been delightful on tilapia, on the catfish, obviously. I even used it on chicken, so it's really good. Um, I don't normally use it on my chicken. I like to make my own little mix for my chicken, but for this catfish and for something really simple. Now, it's not at every single, like I got it from Kroger and it is not at every single Kroger around me, but it's really good to the fact that I actually drove about 15 minutes longer just to go get it. That should tell you something. Okay, so what we have, we have about eight fillets, catfish fillets. We have my Holy Grail seasoning, which is the uh, onion powder, garlic powder, and pepper, but I actually added about, and that's about one tablespoon, well, no, it's not. One tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, about a half a tablespoon of pepper, and then I put in about one fourth to a half of Lowry seasoning. If you grew up on Lowry's, yes, we still love our Lowry's. Um, and I did not add any kosher salt to this because I have the Lowry's. But I probably will lightly sprinkle it with kosher salt, so that's why it's here. And then this is the flour. And then, of course, the two stars of the show, besides myself. <laughs> no, I'm slam. All right, so we have the Ninja Foodie Grill and the Ninja Foodie Deluxe. All right, so what I like to do first is you can uh, get an olive oil spray or a vegetable oil spray, but we're gonna go ahead and spray the fish. And we're gonna go ahead and season our fish. You don't need too much seasoning because there is seasoning in the flour. Whatever you don't use, you can use it next time. I'm probably gonna use up all of this though, because I didn't put, I put a little bit of Lowry's in it, like I said, but I didn't put a lot of salt, so. All right, and then we're gonna flip them and do the same on the other side. You might hear my timer go off in a minute. I actually have some rice going on behind me. I make an amazing rice. That's my favorite word, amazing. And so if you wanna check out the rice video, you can on YouTube. All right, oh, I forgot to spray. I'm so excited. There was one week, these turned out so good. We ended up eating them for like every day of the week. <laughs> And I think it was because we just missed some good fried fish. And I was really impressed. Now, I haven't done this in this before. I actually got this for Mother's Day, but I've fried the uh, fish in the Ninja Foodie Grill and it has been amazing. So I'm really excited to see if there's gonna be any difference. There goes my rice. And now we're gonna go ahead and dip it in here. So let me tell you what I did with the with the ninjas. I have them both set to 400 on air crisp, and I have 12 minutes. Now, oh that's hot. Let's move that. 
Um, if the 12 minutes isn't right, I will come back and correct my timing, but I cook a lot of stuff in here and sometimes I get confused about what was actually the time on that. I do know for sure that it's 400 degrees, uh, but I think the timing is 12 minutes. You flip it six, and if I'm wrong, then I will let you know. I'm not gonna add any kosher salt, but I will taste it at the end, and if I feel like I didn't add too much salt, or if I feel like I added too much salt, I will also let you know, okay? Now you wanna make sure that you don't cover these too heavy in the flour. Let it be nice and light. Now, there are different techniques that you can use with the flour. I know there's a Ziploc bag and stuff, but I think when you do air frying, it's better to, I mean, sometimes that Ziploc bag, you can get a lot of flour and I think it'll just come out it would just come out too heavy on the flour, in my opinion. So it's Memorial Day weekend, and I'm gonna be cooking chicken and rice. <laughs> no, I'm actually, I am gonna be cooking chicken and rice. What? Steak. Oh, my husband wants steak. Oh, maybe we should record a steak video. Thank you. So yeah, maybe I'll do some steaks, my steaks. Uh, you know what I learned about steak? I know we talking about catfish today, but I learned that you don't really need a lot to get good steak. Like you just, kosher salt is, has become like my favorite friend when it pertains to my steak because it just brings out the natural flavor of the meat if you get a good meat. I mean, we paid like 30 to $40 for a piece of meat, but I don't like my steaks thick. I think they're so much better. I normally do like a ribeye, um, boneless ribeye. Oh yeah, and I like it thin. Woo, the flavors. Now I did do, a, I did a steak marinade one time um, when I was at my mom's for a holiday and that, that was good. I, you know what, I need to try to find that recipe. Okay, so they look good. I think I wanna do a little bit more. The flour is starting to settle, which is good. I'm just gonna do this one just a little bit more because it looks, this one and this one. I think they were rubbing up against each other. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I do not like frying food. I do not. Ugh. Mainly, my first reason was when I had a lot of hair, it it would just stay in my hair. My hair absorbed the smell, smokes up the house. I mean, fried food tastes amazing, but I was so excited about getting ninjas that do air fryers because you don't have the smoke all in your house. It doesn't take a long time. And when I do my fried chicken on these bad boys, I cannot wait to share that recipe with you because it was so good. I'm like, I could sell these. I don't have to drive all the way down to Atlanta to get some good fried chicken. Like, it was really good. And my mom was in town, and I'm, I'm just talking to y'all because he's saying the show heating up. My mom was in town, and my mother is a very picky eater, and so, but she really wanted chicken, and my brother was here as well, and they all, everybody wanted some chicken wings. And so it was actually, um, Christmas is when I got this, so it was during that time, and they were the best <sighs> chicken wings. I started my cooking career with chicken wings. I know some chicken wings, okay? I knows me some chicken wings. And them bad boys were so amazing. Okay. So right before it goes in, now this, this little frying pan is smaller than this one. This one is more square. I think I can probably get maybe three, but I like them to have room. So we're gonna do two in here, and I hear it, and two in here. All right, so let me hurry up. Gonna spray it. Okay. 
that's gonna go in. And we'll flip it at six minutes. Okay. All right, so I will be back in six minutes. We'll flip it and then we'll taste. And I will let you know if the timing is right or not. I do think I have it right. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in just a second. All right, so I went a little longer than six minutes, but it's okay. You're gonna need a spatula to flip them because they're gonna flake, which is what you want. You want them to flake. All right, I don't like this. This is not flipping, they're stuck. This is turning into a disaster. They're stuck. I don't know what to do. There we go. We're gonna flip them here. So I'm starting to think I gave you the wrong time because they still, they're cooking very well. But I don't think they're gonna be done. But we'll find out. I might be speaking too soon. We'll be back in just a moment. All right, guys, so. Here it is. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm sure we'll get a picture of it so you can see it. They look amazing. Now, I, a few things I wanna tell you about. I actually like the way that the Deluxe cooked the fish um, more than the grill, just the way that the pan is set up. And it may be because this one is newer than that one, I'm not sure. But uh, I love the way it came out from the Deluxe. But they both cooked very well. Also, make sure, so it's 400 degrees, 20 minutes, flip at 10. Now, depending on, I don't know if they all cook the same, but if you don't like yours, I like mine to have a, a, a good crisp on it and like it to be brown. So that's why I did 20 minutes, flipped it at 10. Make sure you flip with a spatula. Don't use the clampers because the fish is already starting to flake, okay? And... We all kind of tasted the fish, so we did kind of cheat, but just so you all can see my expression, <laughs> it actually is really good. So it's nice and flaky, uh, lightly coated. Seasoning turned out incredible. If you want to throw some hot sauce on it, you can. We're gonna have this with rice tonight. So it's, it's delicious. And you are going to love the fact that your house doesn't smell it's not a lot of smoke, and it is delicious. So, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for allowing me to show you my catfish, air fried catfish recipe. And if you want more recipes, make sure you visit the website at www.sheisacook.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you can see more content like this. And I pray you have a blessed day.